what is going on, you guys? Okay, so today I'm not out on the water. Um, I'm actually just chilling at home today. Uh, but in today's video, I'm just going to be talking about some of my favorite flies. So I'm going to uh, talk about my three favorite streamers, my three favorite dry flies, and my three favorite nymphs. Enjoy the video. Right, you guys, we are going to start out with streamers. So just off the bam, uh, probably just one of my top favorite streamers. Works great for bass, trout, uh, just honestly all the species will bite this. It's just a woolly bugger. It's just a great all-around streamer for everything. Uh, this one is in an olive. It's just one of my favorite colors of them. Um, it's got a great presentation in the water, great action. Um, I don't know, it's just an all-around great fly, and it's one of my favorite streamers. All right, guys, up next is what is called the lunch money. Um, this is just a great streamer pattern. It's made from uh, rabbit tail, I believe. Um, it's a great streamer pattern. It works great for smallmouth bass. I've caught on it. I've caught some great trout on it. Um, it basically just imitates a minnow pattern. Uh, this one is in a white color. White is one of my favorite colors for this one. Olive is also a good color. I it's pretty good in or like a like a crawdad color, a crawdad orange. Um, this is just another one of my favorite streamers. All right, guys. Up next is a streamer called the Dumpster Fire. Um, this is another one of my favorite streamers. This is actually a custom streamer that my buddy Andrew ties. Um, this one's also made of rabbit tail, but it's just a great streamer. Um, I don't know if you can really find this one anywhere besides his page. Uh, you can go check him out on Instagram at Bulletproof Flies. But um, I, he I think he based this streamer off the bar's meat whistle. So that's, that's another great streamer you could get and try out. Alright guys, up next is Dry Flies. This dry fly right here is called the Elk Hair Caddis. Um, this is just another one of, this is a favorite dry fly of mine. Definitely my top favorite dry fly. Um, it's a great performer for trout. I've caught bass on this. I've, I've, I've hooked a walleye on this before. So, um, it's just an amazing dry fly, uh, for pretty much any fishing you will do. It is mainly the only dry fly I use. I use a couple others occasionally. If this isn't working, but this is always a favorite dry fly for me. I've got two different variations in colors here. I've got like a tan one, and then I've got a, like a more white one over on over right right there. That's the more white one, and that guy's the tan one. All right, guys. Up next is a beetle pattern, a terrestrial. Definitely a top favorite dry fly for me. Um, I caught, I catch a lot of native brook trout on this. I caught my first ever cut bow on this dry fly. Um, just super great dry fly. Uh, brook trout is, if I could have any dry fly for brook trout, this is the one I'd take. All right, guys, up next for my last favorite dry fly is just a hopper pattern. They come in so many different variations, but I just, for some reason, I don't know what it is. But trout just love these hoppers. I've caught perch on them. I've caught bass on them. Um, but mainly most of these flies in this video are going to be for trout. Um, just my favorite flies for trout. And just these are all different variations of hoppers. That's one that my buddy Andrew tied. Um, that's an MF hopper. And that's one that my buddy Ron tied uh, right there. That one. Um, yeah, just hoppers are a great dry fly, and you can fish a dry dropper really good with these All two. right, guys, up next are nymphs. Um, these are mop flies. They're called mop flies. Um, I tie these ones. I've, I tied these ones, at least. Um, a lot of people call them junk flies and trash flies, but I will tell you, they are an absolute game changer. You can catch the, you can, if you're not catching anything... You tie on one of these and you just start slaying them. These are just an amazing fly to have in your box and definitely one of my favorites. Alright guys, up next is a Frenchie. Frenchie, a Euro jig, whatever you like to call these. Um, this is probably my top favorite nymph right now. Um, just an all around great nymph. You can catch you can catch any type of trout, tons of white fish on these. 
Um, it's just a great nymph. Um, something about the color of that hackle right there. It's, I believe, like a shrimp pink. Or, sorry, not hackle, dubbing. It's like a shrimp pink dubbing. Um, but it's this is just a great fly for trout. All right, guys, and the last fly of the day that I love is called a copper john. This is another one of my favorite nymphs, just a great all-around producer. I've got a red one right here. I've got a, I've got like a copper one right there. Um, something about these copper johns, they're just really good flies for trout. Um, I'm sure you can catch other species. I've really only caught trout on these. These flies are just basically all for trout that I'm doing in this video. But yeah, just a great all-around producer. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Um, so yeah, these are just some of my favorite fly patterns just to catch trout on. Um, they also catch bass and whitefish and stuff as I said in some of the clips, but mainly just trout flies. These are just some of my favorites. Other people can have their own opinions, but I was just, I just wanted to share my favorites with you guys. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.